You're watching Nightmare on Lakeshire. Enjoy! <laughs> From Transworld, um, hope you guys liked the uh, the videos of Transworld. Had a uh, had a blast. Uh, should be having some stuff coming here um, in the mail shortly. They said like a week or two uh, for some of the first shipments, and then uh, after that, I'll have some more stuff coming in. Uh, I think they said about July. Um, so I'm very very excited to get all that stuff in. So um, also welcome to the new viewers. Um, I just got done doing uh, the video with uh, the interview with uh, Boneyard Creep. What's up, Steve? And uh, and so very very that was fun. I had a good time with that. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know. Uh, put put uh, some of your thoughts and stuff of uh, if you agreed, if you didn't agree um, with my thoughts about Transworld. Uh, put that down at the bottom. And if you haven't seen the video, I've also put a link to the video um, at the bottom of this uh, vlog as well. So. Um, that's that. Uh, I did want to, because I did tell you guys um, in the video before uh, Transworld that I was going to do this whole uh, Scarecrow Pumpkin thing. So um, I'm trying to get on that because I've got some really, really cool news uh, that I want to share with you guys. And uh, so I'm trying to get this work done before this big news and all this stuff starts. So um, with, all, with, with all that being said, let me show you guys what I've kind of done here. So I took the pumpkin and uh, I cut... The hole in the bottom, and that's going to slide over the pole. This is I just got done paint, uh, painting that, so um, yeah, so I can't really put that on there yet too much. Um, but cut a hole there, and then I cut a hole in the back. As you can see, it's very janky, uh, but that's okay. Um, the pumpkin is going to go on there, and then I've got all the clothes and and junk uh, that I'm going to do here. And the chicken wire is there. So um, I have a little bit of a project in front of me. I got about half hour to an hour here before uh, I have to get some stuff done. But uh, as far as homework and all that. But uh, that's kind of phase one so far. So um, let me get some more stuff done. And I'll show you guys here in a bit. Uh, kind of process and where I'm at on things. Right, so this is so far uh, what I've got. Uh, this is just a... Uh, shirt that I just got on for now, but um, as you can maybe see back in there is the uh, chicken wire is all underneath him and then this is just one of the um, like the foam pieces that not even foam but uh, pieces that came on him originally so I use that to actually cover the chest up and then uh, pumpkin head is attached and I am going to actually uh, kind of darken him up a little bit because uh, he's too new looking, so uh, like I'll duck and, uh, darken up his nose and eyes and all that kind of jazz. Other than that, though, I actually like his uh, facial expression. It's kind of mean, um, so I kind of like that. But uh, pants has still have to go on. They're over here, um, so I'm still working on that. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to uh, take some of the chicken wire and actually attach it from about here. Um, and then bring it down so he'll actually have hips, um, you know, and actually a whole waist. It's not just full, 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 and then nothing. Um, so he's going to be full all the way down. And then with the uh, the chicken wire, I'll be actually able to give him kind of some hips. Um, not too much, but um, a little bit. And then also maybe uh, give him some legs as well. But so far, that's my progress. Okay, so uh, I think pretty much finished product here. Um, I gotta fix this a little bit. Um, that's gonna be easy fix because the uh, the way I've got it attached in the back is just tied, and so it's too tight. So I just gotta loosen that up and then fix this dingly thing right there. That looks really bad, so I'll stop. Um, but uh, but yeah, fix that and then uh, kind of straighten up a few little things here and there and I think he actually is going to look pretty cool I may uh, get a, a smaller shirt get like a kid size uh, flannel shirt for him that way it's not so baggy in the areas there uh, because actually the um, chicken wire stops right here and so that really makes him look kind of fat and he's I don't want him to look fat so and then I just kind of lightly dusted him with some black spray paint for now. Um, I'll do some detail work and all that before he goes out. But that's him. 
So let me know what you guys think. Uh, okay, everybody. So um, you watched the video, um, and I wanted to give you guys um, all my big, big news. Ready for the big news? Here's the big news. So as you guys know, if you guys have been following me for any time whatsoever, um, you know that uh, Steve and I have always kind of talked about doing a walkthrough. You have also know that from the videos before this, uh, that Steve and I are actually going to be doing a walkthrough. Well, at Transworld, we talked to a couple of people, and uh, a couple of the people at the booths, and we never wanted to do, like, we've never really wanted to go be, like, pro, I guess you can say, uh, but we talked to a couple of people that actually do, um, like, home haunts for fundraisers. So, Steve and I got to talking, and I had the idea, since I'm going to be, uh, I'm actually in school now for uh, going into uh, law enforcement, um, that it'd be a great idea to go and talk to backstoppers. Um, if you don't know what backstoppers is, long story short, uh, they basically uh, do fundraisers um, for um, police and uh, EMTs and that kind of jazz. Um, and basically, if somebody gets hurt in the line of duty, um, backstoppers helps um, kind of gives them money uh, to help their family and medical bills and that kind of jazz. So, went, talked to Backstoppers, and uh, long story short, fast forward here, poof, um, we are actually going to be doing our walkthrough this year as a fundraiser for Backstoppers. They've actually given us full permission as long as they um, like the advertisements, which i got to be working on here shortly, um, but uh, as long as they like everything and the way that it works out, uh, we're going to be able to use their official logo on things, um, actually call it an official Backstoppers fundraiser. And so we just went from having about 75 people uh, come up and grab candy, here's candy, um, to po the possibility of really hundreds uh, coming. So Steve and I are stoked about it. Um, I'm also a little nervous about it. Um, so, uh, cause I don't know what it all goes into, what it entails as far as insurance and kind of covering your butt. And, uh, so I'm very, very stoked about kind of looking into all of this. So, um, so that's it. So that's the huge news. Uh, Steve and I are stoked about it. And, uh, so as we learn, uh, kind of what, uh, kind of walking into, uh, doing a fundraiser of this magnitude, um, I'm going to give all my information here um, on my vlog too to help you guys out too. So um, I'm very, very stoked. Also, as I'm recording this, I'm sitting on my couch and there's a commercial that just came by from for Evil Dead. Oh my God, I can't freaking wait! Ah! April 5th! Okay, calm down. All right, so um, so that's it. So that's the big news. Um, so really, really excited about it. Uh, I'm stinking pumped. Uh, please, if, if you guys know um, kind of the insurance in and out of how to cover your butt uh, from some moron tripping and falling into your pallets, because uh, <laughs> that's how we're going to do it. We're going to do pallets this year. Um, but uh, yeah, if you guys know any of that, that any of that kind of information, please uh, either put it in the comments below um, or send me a message. Um, and I'm also on Facebook, Matthew Hampel. Just check it out. I'm on there, and um, I definitely need all the information I could possibly get on this. So, uh, so that's huge. Talk to you guys later. Stay scary. Peace out.